Okay, this first video is about the structure of the uh, skeletal system really. We're going to leave muscles to a later video. So here we've got our lovely skeleton and uh, he's composed of two main sorts of tissue. He's composed of bone, which is all the white stuff, and cartilage, which is kind of the transparent stuff in between the vertebrae, in between the ribs and the sternum, which is this breastbone down here. So you can see that bone, um, the bones are all articulated together with wire on this, but obviously in real life they'd be uh, connected together by various connective tissues. So our first type of cartilage, which is hyaline cartilage, so places that we find it in the body, these bits that connect the ribs up to the sternum, that's all hyaline cartilage. Hyaline cartilage is the main sort of cartilage. The structure of hyaline cartilage is that it's basically a sort of little, I've got a little cube of jelly here. It's pretty much got the same texture, so this is unmade up jelly. It's pretty much got the same sort of texture as hyaline cartilage. So you can squish it a bit, but not too much. It's compressible, so it's fairly uh, elastic. And in the middle, making that protein matrix, we've got cells called uh, chondrocytes and that's spelt with a CH. If you look on Quizlet you'll see all of the terms there. You can learn the spellings and it will give you the definitions. So if you were to look at a slide, can we see this? If we were look, to look at a slide of cartilage, what we would see would be spaces called lacunae with these cells the chondrocytes and they're actually producing, the cells are producing this protein which is handily called chondrin which forms then the bulk of the tissue and all cartilages have that in common. So this is a chondrocyte site just means cell, chondro refers to cartilage, so the chondrichthyes are the sharks with their entire skeleton made out of cartilage. And then we've got lacunae, which are these little spaces around the cells. And what they're secreting is this matrix. And that's a fairly sort of typical uh, skeletal system event that you've got cells inside lacunae producing a matrix. There are <coughs> three types of cartilage on your syllabus. There's hyaline, which is the most common sort, so we've already done a couple of locations. If this had yellow elastic fibres through it, we would call it yellow elastic cartilage. This is the stuff that's found in your ear, so if you just touch your ear and give it a bit of a rub, that's yellow elastic cartilage. And then we've got fibrous cartilage which actually has that protein collagen which you'll remember from the core. So that's a, a twisted uh, alpha helix. It's got three alpha helices all wound round together making it a quaternary structure protein. And those fibres running through make it far less compressible and so this is the forms our intervertebral discs, so the bits in between your vertebrae. So let's move to bone proper now, and our bones proper consist of the long sort of shaft of the bone, which is called the diaphysis. We've got the ends of the bone, which often have cartilage over the top of them, again hyaline cartilage, called the epiphyses. And if we look sort of deeper into the structure of the bone, We would see that the bone is sort of hard and white round the outside and in the middle it looks more spongy, there's more, far more space inside of, the, uh, inside of the bone. So this is a sort of a wedge taken out of a bit of bone. We've got the spongy bone in the middle and that comes in two types. We've got yellow uh, bone marrow which is the stuff that occupies these spaces in the bone, which is why it's called spongy bone. 
and down the middle, down the, uh, the diaphysis, that space in the middle, the bone marrow is full of fat. At the ends, so at the epiphyses, the spongy bone, uh, the bone marrow is actually red in colour and that's the stuff that makes the red blood cells, so that's red bone marrow. So two types of bone marrow, yellow down the uh, diaphysis and yellow at the epiphysis at the ends. In between, what's causing these little spaces, this is actually bone. So these are little sort of uh, bars and sheets of bone tissue that separate out of those spaces. All bone has cells. The general name for a bone cell is an osteo, meaning bone, site, meaning cell. And again, they come in two forms. So we've got osteoblasts um, that build bone. So that's handy to remember, the B builds bone. And we've got osteoclasts that break it down. So actually your bones, even though you think they're sort of fairly inert, white, quite hard substances, they are living tissue and they do uh, reform themselves all the time. So your bone is a living tissue and it has um, arteries and veins supplying blood, supplying oxygen, supplying glucose to those cells for respiration um, and taking away carbon dioxide and other waste products. You can see that the bones arranged into this sort of, this is compact bone, so this is the bone around the outside into concentric circles. Uh, each one of these sort of cylinders of bone is called um, an osteon and each one has a system called a Haversian canal system, a Haversian system. The canal up the middle, the space up the middle, contains a blood vessel and then you've got concentric circles of matrix and in between these little black dots are where the cells are found inside lacunae and they're the, in the two types. So general term osteocytes. Obviously, if the blood vessel's in the middle, you've got to have a capillary system to get the nutrients to those cells. So what you can't see on this diagram are little sort of radiating lines out from the osteocytes that contain capillaries to take the nutrients to the cells and, and the wastes away from the cells. Notice that around the outside We've no longer got these concentric discs, we've got a sort of a more firmly packed so, uh, tissue. Again, we've got those rings of bone, but now they go all the way round to hold the bone together. And outside of that, we've got the periosteum, which is very thick connective tissue um, surrounding the whole thing.